Happy February 2nd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Merrick nearly died, crash landing on the roof of Crown Spire Castle and trying to lockpick a hatch, but uh, giving up and resorting to bashing it open. We are in dire straits. Our health is 3 out of 10. We do have a few potions, warding ointment, a couple of combat tonics. None of these will heal us, but if we get into a fight, we're going to rely on these to keep us alive. There are some rules for what happens if a character dies. Death is a setback in this game, not the end. We may get to explore those rules here soon with Merrick. So, with some trepidation, <clears throat> let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Aha! This looks familiar a little bit. No, this is, so this is not, this looks like, I mean, it looks like the castle, but it doesn't look like the area that Thatch and uh, Korra were in. This is a bit different. You are now inside the castle. Find the throne room and snag some treasure along the way. That sounds good. Begin at the X Whereas the X is down here in the bottom left. And navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. <clears throat> so, our goal. This looks like the throne room in the top right. That's two. Uh, we want to explore everything. So, maybe we'll go to one. And then... Uh, it's so like to get into these, we have to go through four, five, and then six. <clears throat> so we'll go one, four, five, six, and three and two, roughly counterclockwise. Okay, area one. The castle is more crowded than you expected. You figured the royal family would be dining, watching the leaf riding contest, and celebrating. But many staff members move through the halls, cleaning up after and preparing for more events. They are setting up decorations and prepping for evening festivities. You think you are bound to get spotted until you realize no one is paying attention to the service staff. You can quickly grab a disguise. Roll d20 plus wisdom. 15. And our wisdom is minus 1, so that's a 14. I don't think we have anything that can help us ability-wise here. So 14, that's a good roll anyway. You throw on some garments reminiscent of the cleaning cleaning staff. They probably go wherever they are needed. Gain a plus two on any remaining rolls for this page. Now I have to remember to add plus two. I'm going to use this uh, token to try to help me remember. In fact, I'm going to put it in there. <clears throat> this is exactly the sort of thing I will forget. Okay, one. All right, we've got a disguise. We are now part of the service staff. Let's head down the hallway uh, and to this door, it looks like four. Area four, you find a set of large metal doors that are locked. There must be something good inside. Roll d20 plus intellect, reminder locksmith. That gives us plus two to all rolls to bypass or open a lock. Uh, so d20. Intellect is minus two. We get a plus two, so that's d20. But we have our plus two. Um, this, uh, we probably go wherever they gain a plus two bonus to any remaining rolls for this page. Okay, we get a plus two bonus for wearing the disguise. Maybe we look like somebody who should be lock picking a door. So that's 13, I believe, <laughs> if I did the math right. Okay, that means... Uh, the lock opens with a satisfying click. The large metal door swing open. You may go beyond the room. Excellent. Okay. Area 5, right? Yep. A seemingly empty room lies beyond the large metal doors, but another door is just on the other side. Once you step inside, hot flames shoot out from openings in the floor. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Okay, we get a plus one for our dexterity, plus two. Somehow the disguise helps us 
Does that make sense? Am I reading this right? Back to area one. You throw in some garments reminiscent of the cleaning staff. They probably go wherever they are needed. Gain a plus two bonus to any remaining rolls for this page. Okay, I'm having trouble justifying that, but uh, it is it is what it says. So we are going to leap out of the way, uh, empowered by our disguise. D20 plus um, plus one dexterity plus two. So it's 13. If the result is 13 or less, you get singed by the fire trap. Reduce your health by one. Oh, Merrick. You're in trouble, my friend. HP. Two. Plenty. That's plenty of health. Everything's fine. Okay, area six. You step into a large room, room full of the royal family's treasures. There is so much... There's too much to take. But you can fill your pockets with amber. Gain 2d4. So here's our four-sided. Two plus... Two is four. Four amber, or up to ten amber. We have far more amber than we have health. Okay. Uh, let's see. That was area six. We'll go back out. Area three. You turn a corner and run into some guards. They nod a greeting to you at first and then do a double take. They look you over and seem to grow concerned and curious. Um, maybe because our disguise is singed. They ask uh, what you are doing. Roll d20 plus charisma. We have a plus one charisma. Plus two. Oh, that was a good idea putting that thing in there. Oh, jeez. Well, oh. We rolled a 1, which would normally be an automatic failure, but Merrick is lucky. Whenever you roll a 1 on a d20 re-roll, take the new result. 19. There we go. Plus all of our bonuses. Um, if the result is 14 or more, alrighty. Oh, wait. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, you may carry on. Have a good festival day. I guess we talked our way out of here. Ah, oh, excellent. Okay. We've been everywhere except the throne room, so here we go. Area 2. The throne room is just beyond these doors. You may stop here or continue to explore before returning here. I think we've done everything, right? Yep. Okay. We will leave Merrick here on the verge of the throne room. And we can just make out, I think, the... Uh, the tree of seasons there and that's the leaf we need so we will say goodbye for today and visit Merrick again tomorrow I hope you will join us thanks for watching